Hello, lovelies. Well, I thought I'd do a little video on uh, the information that's flying around at the moment is uh, about a fake alien invasion. So I thought, OK, I need to talk about this because I've had lots of contact uh, over the years um, with uh, ET. And every contact that I've had has been extremely positive, nothing negative whatsoever. I have actually seen ET with these eyes. Um, and this was up in Auckland when I was around a friend's house and the light was going crazy in the house. And I thought, because as far as I was aware before this happened, I hadn't had ET contact, but lots of spirit contact. Um, so I thought it was spirit and um, the lights, started going really crazy in the house. I really thought that spirit was coming through with a message of some sort. And the next minute I was looking through a ranch slider. It was a summer evening and I saw a little gray, not very tall, a little gray being uh, staring at me through the ranch slider. So the other side of the glass. And literally for about 10 seconds. And then I got, after the little being vanished, I then got the impression in my mind, we're watching you. Now, I already had a healing practice up in Auckland then. Um, I don't live up there anymore. Um, but I had a healing practice up there. I was doing clients regularly. They were coming to my house, into my healing clinic. And, um, you know, I was getting great results. Um, I was doing a mixture of Reiki and many other healing modalities that I've learned, including med medical intuition and um, higher consciousness healing and all sorts of things and coaching, life coaching as well. Many, many other co access consciousness bars. Um, I'm a Reiki master teacher. So um, I can say now when I look back that when I used to go outside, I would often see flashbulbs in the, in the night sky, thinking it was spirit or something. I'm not sure. But I was thinking it was perhaps spirit, just letting me know that they were there. Um, it turns out that now I know it's not spirit at all. It's actually E.T., um, so, yeah, I was doing my healing clinic and I wasn't frightened when I had that experience and saw that little grey being wasn't frightened at all. I felt quite at ease, actually. And um, when I got that impression put into my mind, we're watching you, I thought, wow, OK, it's because of the work I'm doing. So um, not long after that. Well, the following week, actually, because it's always good to, you know, double check these things. Is it my imagination? You know, all those things that come into your mind. So the following week, I said to the people I was with, um, oh, did your bulb go? Because who I was with said, oh, my bulb, the bulb must be going. And I said to her, did your bulb go? And she turned around and said to me, no, it's perfectly fine. That was my confirmation that, that everything that I had witnessed and experienced uh, a week previous had actually happened because there was nothing wrong with the lights or the electrics in their house. Um, so a few weeks after that, uh, I was doing a healing on someone and a hologram of an ET uh, I've drawn them as well. I haven't actually got my artwork here, but I have drawn them. Um, and this hologram came and stood in the corner of the healing room while I was working on a client. Now, I know I saw this hologram with my third eye, with my inner eye. So it wasn't that I was seeing this hologram with these eyes. So what happened was I could see everything about this being and I have a feeling, I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling she could have been uh, Arcturian. She was wearing a uniform. 
um, very slight build, very elongated head and up at the top and also wearing a headdress of some kind. And the material of the dress was shimmering and moving almost like it was alive, um, like a, a silvery gray sort of shimmery, um, yeah, like molecules actually. Um, and full length down to the ground. Now I felt like she was shorter than me, not as tall as me. I am nearly six foot. I felt like she was a little bit shorter than me. A very, very slight build. Um, anyway, as I was going through, because I couldn't stop, I was uh, healing a client and I had had um, other dimensional visitors coming in sometimes when I heal anyway. Um, like I've had Anubis come in and stand at the back door, almost like he's guarding uh, the back door. Um, and many other beings that have come in over time, again, with my third eye seeing them. So anyway, I'm working on this client. So I was used to seeing other beings coming in from other dimensional spaces. Um, and uh, I was working on this client. And then she started showing me, giving me visuals inside my mind of the layers of the energy body over the client. And what I could do, it was like, um, oh, how can I explain it? Like an electrical network that she was showing me with, but different layers and sort of like different codings and different lines and grids that um, could be moved. So what she showed me was that I could move them. She was showing me, me actually just putting my hands in and, and moving the energy and just being in the flow of just moving things around in there. She also impressed on me that I needed to sing. So I needed to use my voice at the same time. She also showed me lots of other things that I could bring down instruments, like other dimensional instruments, if you like, and use them on the body if I found anything in particular. Um, so it was almost like I had a motherboard above the body where I could pull things down and use on the body and bringing down portals of light. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So I do feel that she was Arcturian and um, the motherboard thing uh, uh, was uh, what I can only call as higher consciousness technology. Um, and anyway, these teachings lasted for, oh, I've, I've completely lost track of exactly how long it was, but it was well over six weeks. Every time I had a client, she'd come in and show me things that I could do. So I feel very privileged and very grateful that I've been taught directly by ET. But anyway, those events, they happened about 16 or 17 or 18 years ago. So quite a long time ago. Uh, after those events, I just thought I've got to find out if there's any other people um, in New Zealand that have had ET contact. So I just Googled, searched, and I managed to find the New Zealand um, CE5 group and contacted them. Well, I haven't looked back since. I've joined the CE5 group in New Zealand, and I'm now actually the coordinator of the, the Bay of Plenty, um, or the Taronga section of the CE5 uh, people in New Zealand. And I hold now sky watches at my place in the summer, and when it's not raining. Um, and we hold events up here, uh, so we connect with ET. So I've been on many, many expeditions with the CE5 people here, and they have also come up to our place and we've done events up here too. And I have had the most profound, amazing contact experiences um, to the point of ground flashes, seeing craft, seeing beings, um, I've drawn, different beings that I've seen. Um, oh, 
uh, just so much and, and I just feel eternally grateful and I want to reiterate that every single experience I have had has been really with the utmost love and and always positive so I feel very very grateful very blessed to be in this position and who I am today and I've not, not had any negative experience with ET at all. So coming to what I want to discuss today, I call the elite controllers, I call them the controllers or whatever you want, but you can see with what's unfolding that there is an agenda behind what's unfolding. So um, the disclosure of now the governments coming out and saying that that they there is craft visiting the earth and um you know the military have interacted with tic tacs and other types of et craft um i still call them ufos um i can't actually remember the letters the uaps or something like that uh Unidentified aerial phenomena, that's what they call them now. I like to call them UFOs still, and I like to call them ET. I don't like calling them aliens. I don't think they like to be called aliens either. Um, having said that, they probably don't care what we call them. <laughs> because um, uh, uh, names, I think we're all about names. I think they are all about energy signatures. So they read your energy. So depending on where you are at, if you have got a really open heart and a high vibe and um, you really come from that place of unconditional love, then they are going to read your energy signature. And again, if you're not in fear, they are going to have contact with you. Um, if you're in fear, and they don't want to frighten you, so they probably won't. But if you've got a, a beautiful open heart and you're feeling that expanded energy and that enlightenment and all that beautiful feelings, then the more you're more likely going to get ET contact from these beautiful positive ETs. They are interdimensional beings. They have technology which is far more advanced than what us humans have. If they wanted to come in and take over and do anything, they would have done it by now. So going back to the point of this video, the fact that we're now starting to see on mainstream media about these disclosure of ET contact don't be at all surprised if they don't do a fake alien invasion or ET invasion. They will call it an alien invasion. The reason for this is that the majority of humans that are living on this planet probably have an inkling that there is life on other planets, but not necessarily have had any experiences and that because of the programming that we have had humans have had with most of the et movies are negative and et wants to come down and eat us all and and harvest us and harvest what the earth has and all of that stuff so that's a programming so all of these et things that we've seen over the last goodness knows how many years even more than what i've been around and i'm i've just turned 60 so even more than what i've been around there has been films programs books all about negative impact of beings from other worlds so it's a program that's been programmed into our psyche Again, I'm going to reiterate, every active uh, um, contact uh, that I have had has been positive. All of it. 
Uh, I've had downloads from ET and I still get them now. First of all, they came with like a, li a language being written uh, and I'm asleep. And then I wake up and it's still happening. I'm seeing it behind my eyelids. And it's this language that's coming down and it's normally a ba black background and golden light writing that's being written. And I've had that for many years. Even before I actually saw that first little ET, I just thought it was downloads. Not sure even where it was coming from. Uh, it is downloads, I know, I know now. And now they come in literally bright white flashes of bright white light that wake me up and I'm still seeing it. And I know in all of that light, there is information that's being implanted into my consciousness, into my light body, into my energy field, which is activating my field to a higher consciousness, a higher level, a more expanded level for the work that I'm doing and the work I am yet to do. So I'm still getting those. I'll probably get one every couple of weeks. I will get a flash of light that comes into my consciousness, which is coming in from those other dimensional spaces. Um, and I know it's it's activating me. I just know that. But yet, I don't know exactly what my end purpose is, but I'm willing to just go with the flow and keep going and doing what I do, do my healings, do my readings, um, develop myself as much as possible, connect into, I'm lucky that I am able to do this. And I think it's only training over many years that I've trained myself to be able to do this, to also be fully here present in my physical body, but I can also connect into other dimensions. Hence why I am able to do mediumship readings I am able to do soul rescue and energy clearings, ghost busting, um, clearing non-human entities. Some people would call them demons. I call them non-human entities. I am able to clear them. They are in another lower dimension. Obviously, spirit is in a higher dimension. And I also get contact with guides and ET and spirit in even higher dimensions. Um, all while I'm here still in my physical body. It's almost like I can split my consciousness off to go into those other spaces as well. Even while I'm talking now, I'm doing it. Um, so going into that place of nothingness, which is actually filled with all information, zero point. So I'm able to do that. Um, so, yeah, getting back to my point here, that don't be surprised if you don't see on mainstream media uh, an alien invasion and, um, you know, the, the goal is to put the fear of ET into everyone on planet Earth so that the NATO World Economic Forum the WHO and the other controllers, because there's many of them, will come together and say, we need to form a one world government because we're now in a space war. We need to gather together and form this government and we will protect the earth. That's what their goal is. That's the final, the final goal. Again, when you're fully connecting in with ET, like I said, they're far more advanced than us. I've I've seen energy crafts that's like a nucleus in the middle and it's got a big ball of energy around it and it is going faster than the speed of light. Honestly, only just caught it and I wasn't the only one who saw it. There was one other person with me that saw it. We both saw it flying really fast right the way up into space really quickly and completely disappeared literally for a couple of seconds that's how fast it was so maybe it wasn't quite the speed of light but it was really fast and we only just saw it 
but we've seen many other things. We've seen lights in the skies. We've seen even when it's been cloudy, there's lights the other side of the clouds moving so far in either direction that you know it couldn't be a human light. Um, so many other things. I, I just, you know, there's just so much. And I've also had contact with beautiful little e ET beings, or we call them OTs, other dimensional beings, other terrestrials, that have been in nature. So being in the forest at night in the pitch black, uh, you will probably feel that you're not alone. And these are little beings that are here looking after nature. Had quite a bit of contact with them. It's been absolutely beautiful. Anyway, going to um, the fake alien invasion that is going to be created, I've decided to pull some cards to see if it would actually happen. So what I got was they're going to try it. Um, and I think they're going to find it quite difficult to actually do because I'm literally getting scales. It's going to go one or two ways. I don't think it's actually going to happen, to be honest. I don't feel it. I think that's their plan, so I'm picking up on the plan, but I don't think they're going to actually be able to do it. And the reason why I'm doing this video is that so please share it is because there's more people that know about this, that a fake alien invasion is planned, the more everyone's going to be prepared. And when it happens, or if it happens, everyone's going to go, oh, that's just fake. That's them. They're, they're, they're trying to bring in this one world government thing. So... Please share these videos. There are loads of other people that are now coming out and saying this. Um, I feel it is part of their agenda. What a perfect way to get a one world government to finally fully kick in and take control of the world. Perfect way to do it. But again, I don't think they're actually going to succeed. Because the cards that have come out is showing me scales the hanged man so what they're planning i don't feel is going to happen things are going to turn around and then i'll get to the eight of cups which is that you know they've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and they're they've given up and not doing it because it's just not working um so i also pulled some cards Actually, I'm going to say this because some of the, the cards when I asked about a fake alien invasion. For right now, I'm getting that we need to take control. Again, this is about sharing this information. And there's good news around this situation for us. So we need to take control. So share, talk about it. It is a thing. So please talk about it. And, uh, you know, people might laugh and say, oh, no, that's not going to happen. That's rubbish. Where are you coming from? You must be mental or whatever. But it is, as you can see with all the program from years, years, years back, part of the programming. They have been planning this for centuries, years. So we need to share this information. We need to talk about this and say, you know, I've heard that this is going to be one of their plans, you know, to try and form this one world government. Obviously, they're going to do all the 15 minute cities and do all that stuff as well. Um, and the, the, the alien invasion is going to be the final push. But again, I'm going to say I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to actually be able to do it. I'm getting with um, the balance and the scales that I'm seeing that there's endings around that. There's not, it's not going to happen. It's all winding down. And I'm getting take flight. We need to stretch ourselves and 
believe in ourselves, know who we are. We're actually really powerful beings, every single one of us. So what I got was with the cards of what ETs and how can we contact them, the good ones, of course, uh, are coming to planet Earth. And I decided to pull some cards on that. So what I got was there possibly is going to be Earth changes. And this is going to come from the sun. Our sun is changing. So there's going to be Earth changes. Um, so we, we need to be aware of that. There is so much light coming to the Earth. Huge amounts of light coming to the Earth. So when it comes to connecting to our beautiful ET friends, I've sat with this for quite a long time. And the conclusion that I've come up to is that they are multidimensional beings like we are. Only a lot of us don't know it. But also like the angelic realms are, the spirit world is. And that, that, that they are all working together for the betterment of Earth and humanity. Because Earth is actually a pretty special place with the wide, diverse animal life, plant life, us humans on here, we're, we're part of the animal life, um, and everything else that the Earth has, the connection to, you know, the living being that the Earth is. Um, and the connection to us mm -hmm. and our heart spaces. Remember, the heart is the first organ to actually grow uh, in a fetus. So getting back to how we are going to develop a relationship with those beautiful multidimensional beings. And the cards that came out were third eye activation. So it's important remembering, certainly here in New Zealand, I know they're doing it elsewhere, they're going to put chloride in the drinking water. And we know that chloride calcifies the pineal gland, which is your third eye. If you look back at Egyptian history, they worshipped the pineal gland. They worked on expanding and opening the pineal gland for this higher consciousness, higher dimensional contact. So if you are on normal town city water, get filters, buy, if you can, pure drinking water. Um, get filters on your water systems. We need to decalcify the pineal gland, the third eye. So we need to activate it. So you can work on activating your own pineal gland by focusing on it with your mind. Remembering you're a powerful being. Focus on your own pineal gland, which is inside your brain, sort of in the center. See it shining with bright light, seeing it being clear and open. Doesn't matter whether you've had chlorine, um, chlorine or chloride in your drinking water. The more you do this, the more you will open and expand it by consciously going in there, seeing it being clear, open and connected on a higher dimensional level to other dimensions, other spaces. You'll find that when you concentrate with your consciousness and see this light, this expansion, that you will start to feel pressure inside your head. It's because the energy of you constantly working on that, you're clearing the way. And so you'll start to feel, it almost feels like a headache inside your brain because it's clearing the energy around your pineal gland. There are other activations you can do to activate your third eye. 
Uh, I do a set of activations that I offer, which are light body, third eye, open heart and abundance. So I do those as a set um, of activations, but you can work on this yourself. A solar light upgrade. So these I feel is like, are the, like the light codes that I get. And this also represents your willpower. Your will power. You can achieve anything you like by using your willpower. Override the programs that have been put upon you. This is by the TV. Again, books, unfortunately. Yes, some books programmed. Um, teachers, sometimes parents, family members, sometimes friends. Um, and depending on their belief system, we're, we're being programmed all, all over the place. And it's up to us to use our free will to say, no, I'm actually going to follow me, my intuition. What does it feel like for me? I'm not going to do it because Sarah or Fred down the road are doing it. What do I feel like? Does that feel right for me? So important. You follow your own intuition. So I've also got here angelic frequencies. The angelic realms are around us all the time and we only need to ask them. They're waiting. I ask them all the time and things happen all the time. It's amazing. We need to be in our divine truth and use our voice. Again, this is another of divine connection. Divine support is there for us. But using our voice, activating our voice, it's important we now talk about what our experiences are, what we're feeling inside, and everything else. There's, I've got this, the central sun here card, abundance, downloads, regeneration, success. So a bit about what I've been talking about. We can reinvent, regenerate ourselves. Who do you want to be? I'm not talking about the material stuff. I'm talking about you as a human being on this planet. You are actually a light being. That's another thing I'm able to teach people to see who they are on a soul level. You'll be surprised at who you actually are. For me personally, I'm about eight feet feet tall and I'm just this huge shining light sort of in the shape of a person but expanded huge light energy that's who I see myself as I've been shown that by my spirit team and the most important thing of all this other card that's come out is it's all about unconditional love. Now, when something happens to us, you know, when if somebody has a go at us or something bad happens while we're out on our daily lives, we have been programmed to automatically either retaliate or, I don't know, um, shrink back into ourselves, um, other things as well. The best thing we can do in that moment is to take a breath and come back into our unconditional love. This releases all fear. And if you find it hard, think about all your family that you absolutely love, your pets, your family. Think about them because it immediately softens everything, brings us back into that beautiful, internal unconditional love and if there is someone 
that is having a go at you, that's the best thing you can do. You don't need to retaliate. You don't need to do that. It's just to radiate out that unconditional love. If something has happened, like you're driving, you've been cut up, your immediate human reaction would be, how dare they do that? You know, and then roll off a load of swear words if that's what you're into. But again, the best thing you can do is actually chuck a love bomb at them. That's easy. You build up, hold your hands like this, and just imagine that there is a ball of energy in there and you just keep pumping that with pure, unconditional love. And see that ball getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Just really focusing on that beautiful unconditional love and filling that ball. And then you just throw that at whoever. I've just sent you lot beautiful big bubble of unconditional love. I want you to soak it up. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm just going to build this beautiful, beautiful bubble of pure unconditional love. I'm really feeling that unconditional love now flooding right the way through me. And I'm just placing all of that from my heart into that bubble, filling that bubble with unconditional love. I've got no thoughts around it. It's just pure, unconditional love. And I can feel my heart space really open, expanding out. And I'm going to send this bubble to you all. And I want you to soak it up personally. I'm going to count to five and I'm going to send it. One, two. Three, four, five. Just, just take it into your heart space. Take it into your mind. Just let it flood all through your body, right down to your toes, your fingertips, the top of your head, and out through your skin, right the way out into your field. And you can... Be in that space. Build your own bubble of unconditional love by opening your heart and building that bubble. Build it so big that you can step into it and so that you're in a bubble of unconditional love. It's so important. This is how we're going to connect on a multidimensional level to those higher dimensional beings. By being that ourselves. That unconditional love. Our own intuition, unconditional love, expanding our consciousness, which is connected to the heart. Expanding them out together, your consciousness, your heart space, expanding them out so they fully become one. So the other cards that came out, light seeker, focus on the light, the positive. Don't focus on the negative. To know the information of what's going on here in the 3D, there's no harm in listening to it all as long as it does not affect you. So maybe listen to it when you're in that expanded, open-hearted space because unconditional love is the highest frequency that exists. So if you're in that open-hearted space and you're feeling that power within, you're feeling that beautiful high vibe, and then you listen to that stuff, as long as you don't let it bring you down, you're just observing it. You're not emotionally in it. You're not giving it any energy. You're just observing. and Staying in that space of unconditional love. So light seeker, only seek the light. Again, observe the other stuff, but seek the light. 
expand. Draw in the light. Go and sit in the sun and allow the light codes to just come into your being. Don't stay for too long, though, because you don't want to get burnt. But do that regularly. It's important for us to be in the sun. So your inner oracle has also come out. You are a channel for those higher frequencies. Everybody is. But again, we have to be in that space to channel that energy through and out. Everyone is a channel for that beautiful energy. And another card that came out, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those that you love. This is, again, it's all about unconditional love. Coming together with your soul family, like-minded people, but still sending love to everybody else. This is how we're going to change things. If we start being in that tit for tat energy, we're just going to stay in that dense energy. We need to expand and light up. So other two cards. You don't need to go through your current challenges alone. You can call upon your team. Honestly, we only need to ask and believe. Like I said, I ask them all the time for help, even for a car park. If I'm coming out onto a main road and there's lots of traffic, I ask for a lovely, wide, clear space on both sides so I can come out. I might sit there for a little while, like a couple of minutes or whatever, five minutes. And there always is a lovely big gap that appears. A car park, again, I might have to drive round once or twice and someone then pulls out and I'm able to go in. I ask all the time and they're always there wet, ready and waiting to help. In fact, well, again, I'm tuning in. There are many beings there that are saying we are waiting. They don't ask us enough. This is part of our mission. As we've gone over to the other side, we've worked our way up. This is part of our mission to help you lot down there because you're part of our soul family. So the other card that came out as well, love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. So again, it's connecting into that energy. Love and blessings. I am just filled with love and blessings. My life is love and blessings. I am so grateful for the love and blessings that I have in my life. I am so nurtured. I am so loved. I am so grateful for all of it. Please, please work on yourselves to keep that high vibe. I know a lot of people are saying now, and where did this come from? Toxic positivity. Where did that come from? I don't think it came from positive people. Was that planted to make people feel guilty for being positive all the time? I'm just going to leave that question with you. Was that planted out amongst the masses to make people feel guilty for striving to be positive? I'm just going to ask that question. I'm going to leave that with you. I'm a very positive person anyway. I always have been. Uh, and I'm, that doesn't mean to say that I haven't had some bad stuff happen in my life, because I have. I've had a lot of stuff happen in my life. But now when I look back at all that stuff, I've worked on myself enough to forgive anyone that's done anything to me. And I'm grateful for those experiences, because if I didn't have those experiences, 
I wouldn't be who I am right now. And I like who I am now. And I want you to like who you are. So you don't need to have negative thought forms or negative feelings about yourself. That again is a program. It is time to see yourself for who you are on such a deep level that you're connecting to your soul and allow your soul light to shine. Really feel it just go. So please share this video. It is important that people are aware that there could possibly be a fake alien invasion, but actually all the ETs that are here are so advanced in their technology, they would have done it by now if they're going to, and they're actually connecting with a lot of us, because I'm not the only one, there's many, many people like me that have had beautiful experiences with ET and still do, like me. In fact, when you think of it on a wider, bigger scale, ET aren't going to bother connecting to governments. They're going to filter through the masses and read people's energy, energy signature, read their fear levels and all those things, and they're going to start connecting with the masses. And start, uh, there, there will be many people possibly like yourselves, even who have experienced this. And if you have, then you've had ET contact. So if you've been out sky watching at night and you've seen, say, a flashbulb in the sky or maybe three flashbulbs, sometimes the flashbulbs can be moving. And that's more than likely an ET craft that is just acknowledging you. So I'm going to leave that with you. And I want to send you all so much love. Please, please know that you are such a powerful being in your own right. Connect into your soul and allow that light to shine out. Focus on being the best person you can be. Focus on love and expansion. Focus on higher consciousness and expanding out. This is where we're heading. The controllers don't want us to head there. They don't want us to be sovereign beings. They want us to be controllable. Don't be. Expand. Much, much love. I really am sending so much love to you. Take care. Please share this. Everyone needs to hear these videos about this fake alien invasion and what you can do to stay in a high vibe. Lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye for now.